Good morning. Morning routine. I just took Duncan out as one does when they wake up and have a dog. I took him out and then I fed him and stuff. And I'm like so tired today. So we just laid in bed for the past 20 minutes. I didn't fall asleep, but we were just cuddling. He's such a little, like he has to be touching me. He's such a little cuddler. He's the sweetest. I, I love him so much. I can't even, ugh, I can't even explain it. I can't. He is the best thing that's happened to me. I just can't imagine life without it, you know? Not to get super sentimental at 7.30 a.m. on a Wednesday. I'm really in a big coffee mood this morning. I can make it every morning, but like I'm like really craving it this morning. It's gonna be a little chillier out today compared to the last few, so it's only like 50 some right now. So I am gonna make a hot coffee. It's Wednesday and Wednesdays are cardio days for me so I'm not like strictly hitting the gym at 9 a.m. because the cardio gym there will be a treadmill open whenever I go I mean typically I haven't run into a problem where there's not but it's less of a strict timeline for me turn on a podcast cuz baby love It's like 10 o'clock. I've just been working on my computer for the past few hours. I do have a lot of computer work I gotta do today, but I'm just getting like antsy. So I'm gonna go do my cardio. It's Wednesday, it's cardio day. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. One of my last vlogs, I was like down bad. Like I was having like a mental breakdown and the feedback and comments I received from that were so nice, so encouraging, so uplifting, like so reassuring and it's really just like being vulnerable can be tough but like it's so rewarding and I feel like it's helpful so I'm like not afraid to like show those things but today I feel great I'm really truly feeling great so it's part of the journey it's part of the roller coaster let's pick out some workout pieces to wear we are doing this little green moment. This set is from First Form. It is crazy. I feel like the more I work out, the more I really realize like not all activewear is created equal, you know? And not even brand to brand, but like line or collection or like product to product. For example, like I have some from Halara that I love to work out in, but I have other ones from Halara that I don't. The other thing is I really want to work out in my sports bra today because I'm just walking. I'm not doing anything where I'm like worried about like all the movement and like adjusting whatever like I'm just hopping on the treadmill and like I feel good like I really just want to work on my sports bra but I really need to shave my armpits I just like don't want to put them on display if like I need to shave them but then again I'm like wait I'm just walking I'm gonna be like this the whole time I'm not like doing this on the treadmill so like it's totally fine I'm obviously gonna wear a shirt like when I go through the stairs and like the lobby and like get to the gym or whatever so I'm gonna put this on but I might end up taking it off which is crazy for me because I don't really work out a sports bra and you don't have to, but also like, if you want to, like do it, you know? I just typically don't, but like today I'm like, you know what? I kind of feel like it, like it just feels like what I want to do today. Also, since it's Wednesday, the next few Love is Blind episodes drop on season six. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have it pair. <laughs> and I am gonna bring my iPad to the treadmill. The sun goes around the stay. can't wait. So good it really feels so good to get in a nice solid cardio day after two days of lifting and then I'll do more lifting the next few days I am trying to be better about daily steps in general but I like to do a nice solid treadmill sweat session I feel like 12 through 30 has felt really easy for me lately which is awesome obviously so I usually do 15 incline right away and I try to do 3.1 3.2 I haven't done 3.3 miles per hour yet but it's been feeling good the love is blind episode I was watching was good and then I got a notification during my workout that I got a pack so I went downstairs into the package room and grabbed it and so I want to unbox it here I ordered a few things from skims what prompted this is they had a new swim launch I've never tried their swim before but I was thinking about this the other day you know how like you look in your underwear drawer and you have like a million pairs of underwear but you reach for the same ones every time I feel that way about my underwear but I feel that way about my swimsuits too like I have a good amount of swimsuits 
but there's only like two that I actually like to wear and I honestly really love skims I've never been gifted or sponsored or anything I truly just love everything I have from them and will continue to purchase from them because everything truly just fits so good I just I don't know my favorite underwear is from skims my favorite body suits like I just I really am a skims fanatic okay and it's not cheap the reality is it's not cheap but so I want to show you what I got I'm working on replacing my underwear so that instead of like only reaching for the same pairs I actually like like all my underwear so these are the fits everybody thongs and they're just great they're so so breathable is what I love about them and they're very just like lightweight and stretchy they're so good for every day I don't wear these under leggings because they do have like a little bit of seams I wear also from skims under leggings like little <laughs> string thongs because I I just find that those don't show through my leggings the best but these are so good for every day I just don't work out in them. They're just so breathable and that's so important. And then I love, love, love all the bodysuits I have from Skims. I have a few, so I got just like basic tank one. This is also the Fits Everybody collection for the summer. I will be needing that. I also got this plain short sleeve bodysuit. The only thing I'm nervous about it is that it's not a thong and I'm worried that if I wear it with like lighter colored pants, you're gonna be able to see through it. So we'll see how this one plays out. Again, just so good for every day. Like, skims are my favorite basics. Like, I have another black short sleeve bodysuit, but, like, again, it's not a thong, and you can just, like, see in it really well. I don't know, but this material should be better. We'll see. And the swim that I got, here are the bottoms. They're just very basic bottoms. The top that I got to go with it, which this color is so cute, is just a plain little triangle top. I have their triangle cotton jersey bralettes that look like this cut. And I think they're really flattering on me, so I'm kind of hoping that this kind of emulates the bralettes I have. So, this swimsuit is so cute. I don't want to try any of this on right now, though, because obviously I'm sweaty. I'm not trying to get them gross. You already know what is for breakfast, and I'm so excited about it, per usual. So, so good. Mmm. Can't wait for the long day. In the sun. I just made myself a little pistachio latte, just a single shot. I've truly just been on my computer <laughs> since I worked out and did all that post-workout and whatnot this morning. I do love these days though. Like I love just getting a lot of stuff done on my computer. Tomorrow is Thursday and I have friends coming in from Wisconsin, which will be so much fun. They get here super, super late. Like we're gonna pick them up from the airport at like midnight and they'll be here all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday and they leave super, super early Monday morning, but we have to get stuff and get ready for them. I feel like my apartment is a disaster and we have like no food because we bought stuff for them to come. We have to run to the grocery store again tomorrow and like I'm just trying to like slowly pick things up but get stuff done at the same time, you know. I'm so excited for them to come. But once you start getting ready to have visitors, like you realize there's like more and more you want to get done. So I've been trying to like pace it out because I feel like I'm so bad at that. My boyfriend joined a volleyball league and we have that tonight. I think I'm going to kind of continue this vlog like a little bit of today into tomorrow. We'll kind of see where it takes us. I'm excited to have some grillies around. You know, I miss that. I haven't like made a ton of friends here yet. Yet yet i know some girls in the building which is nice but i love having like girlfriends <laughs> i just got another package delivered so i figured i'd do another little haul Duncan, chill. it's just like a few makeup products i needed to restock my favorite drugstore foundation i just love this it sits so nice on my skin and i ran out and concealer you gotta love the tarte shave tape also running low on this so i needed a restock i love that you can get ulta products at target i also love <laughs> <laughs> the Maybelline lifter gloss and they came out with plump versions. I do have lip product on right now So I don't know if the color will really make sense. I got like the lightest pinky color. It is infused with chili pepper oh, The color is pretty I like the color and I can feel it already. Ibuprofen. Great. I'm also on a journey to find my favorite sunscreen that like sits on my skin well. I've had a couple in the past that just like pill and I think mineral sunscreen is kind of the way to go. So I got this one. It's just a little mini size because I want to make sure I like it. It's from Hero Cosmetics. It's called Force Shield. All right, we are going to go walk Duncan and while we're out, I'm going to return. I mentioned in my last vlog that I bought like a cheapy little fitness tracker watch and I didn't even use it for a day. I just got it. I opened it and I was like, no, this, I need to return it. I put it on my wrist. It's too bulky. I don't know. My whole thing is like, I used to have an Apple watch. I don't want it for like all these crazy metrics. Like I don't care to do the whole closing my rings thing, whatever. Which if that motivates you, do it. Like I'm not knocking it at all. I'm just saying I used to have an Apple watch. I got rid of it. I don't want necessarily another watch. Partially because I don't want to wear it. Like I just don't want it on my wrist. 
which led me into researching the aura ring and I feel like a lot of people have very mixed opinions like oh it's stupid it doesn't work or like oh I love it it's the greatest thing I also saw online that Apple is working on a ring what <laughs> but I saw it the day after I placed an order for an aura ring <laughs> so I don't know I also have no idea when it's coming out like I couldn't find a lot of information on it online Anyways, we're gonna go walk in. I'm gonna return this and my aura ring is coming in the mail soon They send you a sizing kit first and then you tell them what size you want and then they send you the ring I'm gonna film my whole experience with it I'll do an unboxing like a week update a month an update whatever I'll take you through the whole thing because I'm really excited about it And I watched like a million reviews about it And this one girl was saying that she thought it was more of like a recovery tracker instead of a fitness tracker And I was like, you know what? That's kind of what I want it for that and just like tracking my steps So I think it'll be good for me it also seems like nice, and I would rather wear a ring than a big watch. It's just more my vibe. <laughs> just returned my item at this little like vending machine thing, and off we go home. Okay, I'm sorry it's loud because the dryer's on, but I really wanted to try making protein banana pancakes. They did get a little messy. I'm assuming I'll get better as I try making these more. They're actually very good. They're very banana-y, but you can definitely taste the vanilla protein powder. So as long as you like your protein powder, I think this would be pretty good. It's definitely a bit dry with this peanut butter, but I also think if I put a ton of maple syrup on it, it would just be so, so sweet. Fun to try and easy. It's 10 o'clock, we just got back from volleyball. After the games, we all like went to a bar for a little bit, which I like hung out, but when I tell you I probably had three sips of a beer, like I wanna join in and like, you know, these are new people, like I wanna show that I can hang, but like I don't actually really wanna drink on the weekdays, especially because I'm like super in my gym era, like I'm just, I'm just not really about it. And that's really fine. Anyways, I need to make my drink and go to bed. I'm tired. But you can hear Duncan's toy in the background because he loves his piggy. We have creatine. Also, someone commented saying like, hey, you need to take creatine pre-workout. You actually don't. You can take it literally whatever time of day you want. What matters most is that you're consistent with it. This is magnesium. The only reason I take it at night is because there was a study a few years ago and it thought that creatine didn't work as well paired with caffeine. It has since been debunked but I'm just like nervous about it for some reason and I drink magnesium at night anyway, so I'm like, why not just pair the creatine with magnesium? The creatine doesn't have like caffeine or anything. It's not like it'll keep me up at night. It's simply just this is working in my routine and that's what I'm gonna do. So time of day does not matter. There's also been studies showing if it works better pre or post workout and I'm pretty sure most of them are pretty inconclusive. So like what matters is if you stick to it. If doing it at night is gonna make me stick to it, I'm gonna do it, you know? Whew. I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Good morning. It's like 6.30. My friends come to- oh, My friends come today, which is so exciting, but I have a lot I want to get done. So we're gonna get started ASAP. to heat up the milk first. My brain is just everywhere right now. So it's like kind of warm, kind of cold. <laughs> It's almost nine o'clock. Today is glutes and quads. I got a lot done on my computer already this morning, which is so great. It's loud because the dryer's on, but I am off to work out. Lately, there's been a good amount of people in there when I go, so I can't guarantee I wanna film anything. However, in one of my most recent vlogs, I'm doing that exact same workout, so maybe I'll insert a quick bit of that footage if I don't get any today, so you can at least see what I'm up to. I'm on my last week of my first program of the Alive app, but once I finish this this week, next week I'm just gonna start the same program, but like a level up. So I'm a beginner right now, I'll go into intermediate. I love it so far. There's actually a lot of people in there right now. Cause baby
Now to change my shoes and do a little walk. Just like yesterday, while walking on the treadmill, I got a package notification, so let's go get it. I'm so excited to show it to you. So a few months ago, First Form came out with a salted peanut butter protein powder, and I wanted to try it so bad. They sold out, they restocked, they sold out again and I missed it. They restocked again and I got it. <laughs> Look at this, salted peanut butter. Oh, I'm so excited. And then I also got this sports bra. It was on sale and I wanted to get free shipping. I actually have the shorts to match. I wanna go get them, I'll show you. See, it's a little set, how cute. So it's almost 10.30 and I really, really, really wanted this mostly to make ninja creamies with it, like a peanut butter ice cream. I've tried it with just milk and PB fit, like the peanut butter powder, and it's just not peanut buttery enough. And I'm thinking, since it's only 10.30, if I make it now, I bet it could freeze later today and I could try it. And that's very exciting. We'll do one full cup of milk. The ninja creamy is a little wet because it just came out of the dishwasher. And this will technically be like one serving. So like when I make this, I am not sharing it. One scoop of the protein powder. It smells so good. And we'll do one serving, which is two tablespoons of the PB Fit. Mix it together. And we freeze. And I've been waiting so long. I have been running around like crazy all day. I have not vlogged like nearly a thing, but it's okay. The apartment's clean, their beds are ready. I have a bunch of food prepped. We went to the grocery store, the liquor store. Things are good. All I have to do really is shower, self tan, finally gonna do my nails and go pick them up from the airport. But I'm happy I did my like everything shower earlier so that I literally just need to like take my makeup off and like wash my body, then I can do the fresh self tanner. You know, it's lined up great. However, I do want to try the peanut butter ninja creamy. I literally have had so much protein powder today and this is not normal. Like I don't usually have this. <laughs> my brain right now. <laughs> It seriously looks so good. Like the texture is just amazing. This looks like chocolate chip cookie dough right now, even though it's not. That's good. When I used to try peanut butter without that protein powder, I would do just a bunch of PB Fit, but it never like mixed fully. Like I couldn't always get the peanut butter flavor out. I don't know, it was, it was tricky. So having this protein powder plus the PB Fit, that's the answer. Mmm. We're at the airport! The girlies are waiting for us. They're at baggage claim. We shall be rescuing them soon. And then, we got into fun! <laughs>